Welcome to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another challenging question from radical exponential equations. It is a square root 3 raised to the power 2x plus 1 equal to cube root 108 minus 3 power x plus 7 by 2. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing one powerful exponential property a power b plus c we can write any time a power b times a power c. So I will apply to our equation a square root 3 power 2x times 3 power 1 equal to cube root 108 minus 3 power x times 3 power 7 over 2. Now I will write another property from radicals or thirds. It is square root AB. We can write square root A times square root B. So in LHS I will be writing square root 3 power 2x times square root 3. Right hand side I will be writing cube root 108 minus 3 power x 3 power 7 by 2 so 3 power 7 by 2 we can write 3 power 3 plus half now i can use the same property the first one a power b plus c equal to a power b times a power c it will become 3 cube 3 power 1 by 2 3 cube is 27 3 power 1 by 2 is root 3 so I can write here 27 root 3 with cube root. Now in LHS, I will use another property of exponent a power b times c. Anytime we can write a power b whole power c. So here I can write a square root. It is 3 power x whole square times root 3 equal to cube root of 108 minus 27 root 3 times 3 power x. Now I will use substitution but before that we can cancel square root and square. So equation is 3 power x times root 3 equal to cube root of let me write here 3 power x times root 3 equal to cube root of 108 minus 27 root 3 times 3 power x. Now let us use our substitution. So I will write here let 3 power x equal to suppose t. So left hand side is t root 3 or root 3 t equal to cube root of 108 minus 27 root 3 times t. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So I will write here whole cube, this side also whole cube. So cube root and power 3 will be over. t cube and root 3 cube is 3 root 3. So I will be writing here 3 root 3 t cube. RHS will be 108 minus 27 root 3 times t. Now I can divide this equation with 3 root 3. So I can write here t cube equal to 108 over 3 root 3. And here I will be writing 90 dividing by 3 root 3. Now 108 is 36 times 3. So I can write this as 12 root 3 minus 90. And left hand side is t cube. How it will be? 108 over 3 root 3. 
108 is 36 times 3 divided by 3 root 3. Now this 3 and 36 will be over by 12 and see 3 can be cancelled with root 3 by writing over there root 3. So it is 12 root 3. So this is one cubic equation which we will solve using remainder theorem this time. Or we can use synthetic division method also. So let me write here t cube plus 90 and then I will be writing 12 root 3 equal to 0. I want to use remainder theorem. So I can write first solution, the base solution. If I will put t equal to root 3, see what it will be 3 root 3 plus 9 root 3 minus 12 root 3. So yes, it is equal to 0. That means t minus root 3 is one factor of this cubic equation, of cubic equation. So I can write our equation in the factor form of this bracket, it is t minus root 3. So I can write our cubic equation in this way t square and that extra t will be replaced with this bracket. Now what is extra? Minus root 3 t square. So I will compensate plus root 3 t square. Remaining terms as it is plus 90 minus 12 root 3 equal to 0. Now I will perform the same operation for t square. So t minus root 3 as it is. Now I will do the same job here. The extra t I will write by this bracket. So root 3 t square as it is. Extra is 3 t. So I have to add here 3 t plus 90 minus 12 root 3 equal to 0. Now I will write t square t minus root 3 plus root 3 t t minus root 3. Here it is 12 t. So I will take 12 common. So in bracket I can write t minus root 3. Right hand side is 0. Factorization is done. You can see t minus root 3 is overall common. So the other bracket we are having t square plus root 3 t plus 12 equal to 0. Now we have to put both the brackets 0. So once this is 0, so I will write t equal to root 3. What is t? t is our substitution. So let me write here t equal to, substitution was 3 power x equal to root 3. So from here I can write root 3 as 3 power half. Bases are same. So power should be equal. So I will write solution is equal to x is equal to half from this first bracket. Now let us consider this quadratic bracket. So I will calculate only discriminant. So for this equation I will calculate delta b square minus 4ac. So I will write root 3 square minus 48. So it is 3 minus 48. So this is negative 45. Which because of this discriminant is negative. No real solution. So we will reject this. Reject it. So only one solution will be real. It is x is equal to half. Let's verify. I will write check x equal to half. LHS if I will write then it will become 3 part 2x. x is half then 2x is 1. So 1 plus 1. Right hand side if I will write cube root 108 minus 3 raised to the power 1 by 2 plus 7 by 2. LHS is 
square root 3 square square and square root will be over so LHS is 3 only now let us see what will be the RHS cube root 108 minus half plus 7 by 2 8 by 2 so 3 power 4 it is and 3 power 4 is 81 so 19 plus 8 27 is there so cube root 27 and it is equal to 3 so RHS is 3, LHS is 3, that means x is equal to half is true and verified solution. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.